Mohammed bin Salman started off his UK trip with a visit to the Queen, who hosted the young prince at Buckingham Palace, a sign of just how eager the UK is to bolster its ties with the Saudi Kingdom. Children from the Saudi-owned King Fahad Academy were bussed in to cheer on the Crown Prince. A continuation of the massive PR campaign that included huge adverts across London announcing Bin Salman's visit. Human rights groups, however, chose to focus on children by highlighting the killing of thousands in Yemen by the Saudi military, an army under the direct command of MBS, as he's known. We've got 11 million children in Yemen who are dependent on humanitarian aid. That's the entire population of Belgium. This is the world's worst humanitarian disaster. So for all the trade deals, for all the niceties, we have to remember that Saudi Arabia is a key player in this conflict. The Crown Prince's visit is a very controversial one. In Parliament, the leader of the main opposition party, Jeremy Corbyn, questioned the Prime Minister on what message she would be conveying to Mohammed bin Salman. Tomorrow is International Women's Day, a chance to both celebrate how far we've come on equality for women, but also to reflect on how far we have to go, not just in this country, but around the world. Later today, Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister is due to meet Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. As she makes her arms sales pitch, will she also call on the Crown Prince to halt the shocking abuse of human rights in Saudi Arabia? Her response? The link that we have with Saudi Arabia is historic, it is an important one, and it has saved, it has saved the lives of potentially hundreds of people in this country. And I will be raising concerns about human rights with the Crown Prince when I meet him. And can I just say, as the Right Honourable Gentleman started on the issue of International Women's Day, I welcome the fact that the Crown Prince will be sitting down with as the guest of a female Prime Minister. To build on that relationship, the Prime Minister left Parliament to meet with MBS at Downing Street. Prince Mohammed, when will you stop bombing innocent civilians in Yemen? When will you stop killing innocent civilians in Yemen, Prince Mohammed? As you can see, this trip is not just a high-profile one, but it's also a very controlled trip with the, both the British government and the uh, Saudis uh, not wanting to have clear access. There is no press conference that took place. This is the closest we've had to access to the Crown uh, Prince. And the big reason uh, behind that is the widespread opposition and criticism uh, that uh, has been accompanying this trip. Part of that opposition was demonstrated in this protest outside Downing Street. Organizers here say the UK government should not be turning a blind eye to Saudi human rights abuses, no matter how much the Crown Prince pledges to invest. They want their politicians to demand real change and reform in Saudi Arabia, and not to cheer on what they consider to be propaganda aimed at polishing the image of a man who's locked up many of his political opponents. Jamal al-Shayal, Al Jazeera, London.